Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about blocking. Now, why is blocking necessary or is it necessary? Um, if you are hanging things on your walls, it's a possibility that you might want to put some blocking in there. Okay, um, where are some of the places where you're going to need blocking or possibly put blocking? All right, the first one would be your kitchen cabinets. Um, when you hang your kitchen cabinets on the wall, if you don't put blocking, the only place you got to screw the cabinets to are the studs, okay? And if you have a narrow cabinet that fits between two studs, you really don't have nothing to screw it to except the drywall. So if you put a roll of blocking at the bottom of the cabinets, at the top of the cabinets, at the top of the lower cabinets, you can screw them in anywhere along there to um, fasten them to the wall so they stay in place where you don't have to use anchors or anything like that, okay? Um, in the bathroom, how many of you have had your toilet, toilet uh, dispenser pulled off the wall? Um, it's one of the good places to put blocking. You put it behind the toilet paper dispenser in the, inside the wall so you have something to mount that to so it doesn't yank off the wall. Um, towel racks. Uh, if you have a towel rack in your bathroom, uh, you're yanking on your towel, you want more than just your drywall anchors or something holding that on there, put your blocking behind your towel racks. Handrails is another one. I mean, if you're going to fall and you grab hold of the towel uh, handrail in, your, in a bathroom or above a bathtub or something, you don't want that thing to pull out of the wall when, you, when you're falling. So put them behind the handrails. Uh, curtain rods. So curtain rods. So at the, up at, at the top, uh, at the end of your header, you can put that uh, blocking up there so that when you hang your curtains, which curtains can be kind of heavy, especially on a longer run, um, you'll have something to nail your, uh, screw your ends of your curtain rod holders into, okay? The next one is stair handrails, all right? Again, you're walking down the steps and you start to fall and you grab hold of that rail, you don't want it to pull out of the wall when you're, when you're falling. So, um, stair handrails. Um, closet rods. Again, you're going to be putting a lot of weight on your closet rod when you're hanging your clothes. So you want something behind there to screw that into so that um, the weight of your clothes doesn't pull your cu uh, curtain rod off. Fireplace mantle. If you're going to put a mantle up on the fireplace, you want something besides studs or drywall to hang that mantle to. Okay. Um, another place would be like behind your microwave. Microwaves are screwed into the wall. Uh, there's a bracket that hangs on the wall and then the, the microwave is mounted on the bracket. So microwaves, you put the uh, blocking behind your microwaves. So that would be another one. Now, how do you put blocking in? Well, here's your, you have a stud, stud, stud. So you take your blocking and you turn it the flat direction and you put it flush with the front of the stud. Now, you can use whatever you have laying around. If you got a 2x6, 2x8, 2x10s, 2x12s, it doesn't matter yeah, for the blocking. The more area, the, the, size, the bigger size you put in there, the more area you have to hit when you decide where you're going to eventually put your whatever you're going to hang on that drywall on that blocking. Okay, so you're going to put those in there. So it's pretty, then how do you nail it? It's pretty simple. You put a couple nails through here and then nail it through there. Don't try to toenail it. Toenailing is uh, not a very good way of doing things because a lot of times the board breaks or cracks over time, especially as your house heats up and then gets humid. The boards dry out and expand and that kind of thing. So you can, um, you can put them in there. You put your next one in there. You can toenail it through there. So you come from the outside and toenail back into this board. Okay. So you can put block in a lot of different places in your house. Now, do they put them all in all these places? Yeah, probably not. But if you want your stuff that you're going to mount 
to have plenty of uh, uh, backing back there to drill into so it doesn't get yanked off the wall. It might be good to put some blocking or some kind of, they're called nailer boards on the back side of your drywall so you have something to hit. Um, so putting in blocking or nailer boards, um, put them where you want them, put them where you need them.